awesome animals. Hello, everyone. Today I'll be comparing two amazing dog breeds, the Russian Borzoi and the Saluki. Please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and comment down below for future video ideas. The Borzoi and the Saluki are two magnificent dogs, who are quite alike in appearance. Both have lean physiques and fairly long muzzles, making them appear swift and smooth as they run in the fields. The Saluki is one of the oldest known breeds of dog. There is robust archaeological evidence of the Saluki that dates back at least 5,000 years. Images of slender dogs with feathered ears, tails, and legs have been found on various artifacts in the Middle East such as tomb paintings and mosaic sculptures. The Borzoi originated in the 17th century Russia, when Arabian greyhounds were crossed with a thick-coated Russian breed. In 1650, the first Borzoi standard was written. The Borzoi was bred by the Russian aristocracy for hundreds of years. It was known until 1936 as the Russian Wolfhound. Bred to be tracking and hunting dogs by virtually every culture that has raised them, hounds possess excellent noses and high amounts of stamina. Tracking scents, chasing game, and deep bonds with their human companions are all hallmarks of this diverse group of dogs. The Saluki was originally bred by the Arab tribesmen for bringing down game and was considered a sacred gift of God by the tribesmen. In Arabic, an ordinary dog was called Kelp, while the Saluki is El Or, the noble one. As strong as it is swift, the Borzoi was bred for centuries to course fox, boar, hare, and famously wolf, hence its moniker the Russian Wolfhound. These aristocratic sighthounds with their flowing coats, curvy silhouettes, and chest heads become synonymous with Russian royalty. This battle will determine the better breed once and for all. Both are loyal, intelligent, speedy, and extremely athletic. Let's see who will win this battle and be the champion once and forever. We will now begin the battle championships. Good-natured, gentle, and calm, the Borzoi is an aristocratic breed exhibiting sensitivity and a sense of humor. The Borzoi is happiest when entertained by an activity that involves running. If raised properly, the Borzoi will be the most loyal and affectionate pet you'll ever have. He is gentle around older kids and can be friendly towards your cat, just as long as they were socialized early. He is not loud, but rather behaved and very reserved until trust is established. The Saluki is an aloof dog, but one who is devoted to his family. He's gentle and thrives on quiet companionship. He has a tendency to bond with a single person, which can lead to separation anxiety. Despite their good nature, showing affection needs to be subtle. They would rather just sit beside you rather than lay on your lap. With strangers, Salukis are reserved, and they can be shy if they're not socialized at an early age. This point will go to the Borzoi. Borzois are generally healthy dogs, and a responsible breeder will screen breed stock for health conditions such as elbow and hip dysplasia, osteochondritis, dissecans, and progressive renal atrophy. Like other large and deep-chested dogs, they can experience bloat, a sudden and life-threatening stomach condition. While Salukis are in general a very healthy breed of dog, they do have some health conditions that can be a concern, especially if you aren't cautious about whom you buy from. They include hemangiosarcoma, cardiomyopathy, and autoimmune thyroiditis. This point will go to the Saluki. Their coat sheds, especially once a year. They should be brushed two to three times a week. Salukis are a low shedding breed, which is good news if you want to adopt one, but don't want to spend time cleaning up loose hairs. They're also very easy to groom. A simple brush once or twice per week is enough to keep shedding to a minimum and help them maintain a healthy coat. This point is a tie. A large breed, Borzos can reach higher speeds than many other larger dogs. A very sensitive dog and considered one of the best family pets. A fully grown and healthy Borzo can run as fast as 35 miles per hour. Saluki sprint as fast as 42 miles per hour and can cover 2-3 to three miles at high speeds if healthy and fully grown. This point will go to the Saluki. A Borzo's sense of smell is between 10,000 and 100,000 times more acute than ours. The sport of scent work celebrates the joy of sniffing and asks the dog to sniff her heart's content, turning your Borzo's favorite activity into a rewarding game. Many hound dogs typically work using scent, but Salukis use their vision. In all factory tests, that scent hounds tend to rank higher in the sense of smell. Salukis, though, use their eyes. This point goes to the Borzoi. In 2006, a greyhound named Cinderella May cleared a hurdle set at 5 foot 8 inches. The previous Guinness record holder was a Borzoi named Wolf, who cleared at 5 feet 2 inches hurdle. Olive Oil, a Russian wolfhound, held the Guinness record prior to that with her 4 foot 11 inch jump. The Saluki is a typical sighthound in that he thinks for himself, steals food whenever and wherever it's available. 
chases and kills cats, girls, goats, and other animals at every opportunity. They can jump anything less than a four-foot fence. This point will go to the Borzoi. Borzois are affectionate dogs, especially with their own family. Like most dogs, Borzois adapt well to a daily schedule of adequate feeding and exercise. Some basic obedience training and socializations are recommended. Salukis are generally quiet dogs. When training a Saluki, be consistent and use only positive reinforcement techniques, such as food rewards and praise, since the breed is so sensitive. The last point is a tie. Only with one point to defer and a final score of 5-4, to four, the winner of the battle is the Borzo. We both did great, but in the end, there is only one winner. So who were you guys cheering for? These dogs are both great family pets and are extremely intelligent, but the Borzoi won this battle. Saluki fans, don't be disappointed. Better luck next time. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. See you guys next time. Goodbye!